in the actual hot wire. Ooh! I'm working on installing the GVA MB16 fenster today. This would be a great test for the new fencer. Heavy, heavy, heavy vegetation. Just a few feet away from the fencer, it shows 2.4 kilovolts. Current fencer claims uh, two joule output. Uh, it's a Rural King one from uh, quite a few years ago. What we need to sign here on the fencer is it's got a slot through the bolt, opposed to having to go around it, because I always have trouble making them stick. She says IP2. Status doesn't say anything. I'm going to go ahead and push the power button. I see 15 joules. Let's measure what it's actually putting out. We now are up to four. So that was versus two something. And yeah, it's going through some vegetation here. So very bad choice for a fencer, but hey, it's, it's a good real life test. My very hillbilly ground stick here, it just gave me a shock. According to the instructions, if you get a shock there, that means your ground is not good at all. My ground rod, and you see it's actually got five kilovolts right here at the ground, which is pretty bad. So I'm going to add another ground rod and see what that does to this. Ground rod in, so back on. Before we had five joules over here. Oh, nice. I'm down to 2.9, so that really helped adding in a ground rod. Still probably need another one. Big difference here up on the fence itself. We're up to 5.8. Looking at the fence monitor, you can see when I turned it off, and then you can see the previous line of where the old fencer was, where the new fencer is, and then you can see when I added the ground rod. Fencer back on. There it goes. I'm noticing now it's uh, showing 20 joule, 19 joule, 18 joule. I'm not sure why it's actually more than 16, but that's uh, very interesting after we added that, that third ground rod. Let's see what the ground is doing. 2.5. That's not horribly changed. And the actual hot wire. Oh, okay. The grass is hot. We are up to 6.4. So that's doing pretty good. Definitely is punching a lot harder through this wheat. But uh, that tells me that there's still uh, there th on the ground. I think that that means that we use more ground cables. And I think this is also where the vegetation truly is a horrible, horrible idea and uh, definitely could be fixed.